All right, finally, after long time, long, long, long time, as usual, Jupiter is now turning direct. It is almost stationary now. And it is going to turn direct very soon. One day, two day, three days. So within uh, seven to 10 days, you can expect that the direct motion starts because it doesn't go direct right away. It's stationary retrograde now. Then it goes direct, it changes its course and it's still stationary, remember that. So therefore, this time, uh, especially today is 12th, so I would say till 20, 25th of September is a very crucial time because uh, during, uh, from 25th, I would say, all right, so it's like another 12 days so from 25th or another two weeks you will start seeing the results of uh, this Jupiter which is going to be direct all right so therefore let's discuss in short what are the things that you could find all right and as usual if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation regarding this Jupiter's transit then please go to my website down below and yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Either Jupiter is direct or retrograde. <laughs> so now, <clears throat> what does Jupiter represent? Jupiter is a very important or the most important planet. It is not the ascendant. It is not the sun. It is not the moon. It is Jupiter actually. Jupiter represents Jiva, Jiv Karak. He is the significator of the soul actually so jupiter can show at a soul level what desires you have actually it can show what makes you happy at a soul level therefore they say if jupiter is linked to the ascendant sun or moon it is very good for the horoscope why do they say that that's the reason because in that case what can happen if jupiter is linked to the ascendant or ascendant lord or sun or moon i would say ascendant and moon then what you believe at a soul level what you want at a soul level what you identify at a soul level is manifesting through the mind in this life okay or through your actions if it's the ascendant moon the mind ascendant your actions then there is greater harmony which is possible so there is greater focus in life Okay, so therefore, these placements are considered to be very good in traditional astrology and it holds true also. So similarly, um, therefore, not only Sun, Moon, Ascendant, with any planet, if Jupiter is linked, then it can show that you get opportunities to fulfill your soul's desire through that planet. So suppose Jupiter is aspecting Venus, then it can show that uh, now people ask me sometimes, what's the chance that I meet my soulmate? <laughs> so there is no uh, way to tell in astrology um, if you will ever meet your soulmate or how do you define a soulmate? Because nowadays uh, in Kali Yuga, uh, every six months people have a different soulmate, right? <laughs> Especially the millennial generation. Uh, every three months, every six months, sometimes every night people uh, change their soulmate. So it's very difficult to say, you know, you'll have uh, one soulmate or you'll have soul groups nowadays. <laughs> All right, so I mean, there may be soul communities sometimes. Okay? Or your friend could be your soulmate, your mother could be your soulmate, your father could be your soulmate, your sister could be your soulmate. Not necessarily that your husband or wife is or is supposed to be your soulmate. So if Jupiter is linked with Venus, then uh, there are more chances that uh, you can meet somebody who you can connect uh, at a soul level. So that's why Jupiter is very important. And uh, at, at a higher level, it shows a spiritual progress. Why do I say spiritual progress? Now you may think, oh yeah, yeah, we know Jupiter is the guru's spiritual progress. No, not because of that, because this current transit is happening uh, in the sign of Sagittarius till November 20th. So September, October, so another two months. So Jupiter is transiting in Dhanu Rashi, his Mool Trikon sign. He is extremely powerful and happy and blessed in this sign. And I have always seen this in my experience. Uh, 
मूल त्रिकोण राशि रियली डू वेरी गुड एक्चुअली कंपेयर टू एक्सोल्टेशन Now I'm not changing Parashara statement. Parashara says exaltation is the best, and Mool Trikon is the second best. This is what Parashara says. But what I mean to say here is, exaltation works hundred uh, percent, provided you are ready to uh, pay the price. But many people are not ready to pay the price. You know? So, like for example, many times people talk of uh, Venus. You know, Venus exalted, or you know, oh, I have an exalted Venus. You know, we'll have a great life. You know, whatever. You know. But uh, you have to see where Venus gets exalted. He he gets exalted in Pisces. So uh, Venus has Mool Trikon in Libra. Libra is give and take. I make you happy. You make me happy. All right. I will only make you happy if you make me happy. Yes, <laughs> that's Libra. It's business, give and take. It's not free, okay. It's not selfless. Libra is a very selfish sign, uh, a bit more selfless than Virgo. Virgo is totally selfish, but Libra is a bit selfless, <laughs> or it's not selfless. It's a bit less of selfish <laughs> compared to Virgo. But then it gets exalted in Pisces, you know. But then the thing is, are you at that level that you are? so much selfless within relationships are you ready to pay that price if no then an exalted venus for you may not be of any good use if you are then it's great to have so similarly for jupiter uh, jupiter gets exalted in cancer and he has moon trigon in this current transit of sagittarius now sagittarius controls all the rules regulations all the words of the scriptures the word of the rishis the shruti smriti itihasas vedas upanishads the bible the quran the torah dharmapada everything is under the sign of sagittarius it is the sign of dharma it is that sign which uplifts humanity it is that sign which makes you human <laughs> why because the only uh, jupiter represents human beings also so the only thing which uh, scripture say distinguishes a human being from an animal is that uh, human beings can enquire for uh, higher spiritual truths uh, animals cannot enquire you you won't find a dog uh, discussing about uh, janmashtami or shivratri have you seen uh, have you ever heard dogs are discussing oh you know it's shivratri tomorrow that's fast <laughs> it's ram navmi in april march or whatever oh, let's fast you know, let's do some mantra chanting for shri ram jay ram jay jay ram you won't find them right so spiritual enquiry uh, is only a characteristic of human beings that is why human body is very special as the scriptures say so therefore what i mean to tell you is that during this transit either it's high spiritual things or either it is something that you believe at a soul level that you identify with within yourself this is the best time that you implement that because now this transit is happening in uh, it, it's going to be direct okay so whenever a planet turns direct it is time that you execute all the things which you wanted so therefore depending on the houses which jupiter rules in your chart so for example if you are a sagittarius rising then jupiter is your lagna lord and the fourth lord right so depending on your ascendant or if you are a pisces then it's the 10th lord and the lagna lord so depending on your ascendant it will be decided which areas you will focus and of course ultimately vedic astrology is defined by the dashas if if dashas are indicating certain things then uh, you have to harmonize this transit and the houses with uh, the dashas actually okay so now now it's a time when you uh, not only want things but you also uh, plan to implement them in a way which can lead you to overall fulfillment in life so therefore now you should really check which dashas i am running okay so if you are running suppose uh, venus mahadasha or you are running dasha of 7th lord or 2nd lord or 11th lord or planet sitting in 2nd sign and 11th then you might want to focus on your marriage or you might focus on getting married if you are willing to or if you desire or if you wish to or if you are of that age or uh if you are already married then 
if your married life is not good then you work on improving your married life okay even if jupiter is not your second lord seventh lord eleventh lord because whenever jupiter goes direct uh, it's like the motion of the planets uh, the dashas you will start seeing the results more actually of whichever dasha you are running why because Jupiter gives you that sense of hope and positivity and optimism because of which you can now harness the results of these dashas. Therefore, I've seen if if Jupiter is retrograde, many times people say, so suppose Jupiter was retrograde from many months and suppose your Mahadasha changed in May or June. Okay. So then you might be feeling, oh, you know, my dasha has changed, but I don't see that my life has changed. So now, now you will see the changes actually. Because now your, it's like your soul is moving forward. Jupiter is direct means the soul is moving forward. Okay. And because it's in the sign of Sagittarius, you know, Purva Shada, then it will enter Uttara Shada after some days. So therefore uh, you, you will see purvashada has the symbol of the winnowing basket you know? so therefore it's like saying separate the things which are required from the things which are not required <laughs> separate the good and bad that's what religion does that's what spirituality does that is what is the job of the guru to filter bad things from your life okay and to give you the good actually that is seen by purva shada and uttara shada has a lot to do with austerities tapasya and uh, hard work and tenacity patience perseverance tolerance that's what uttara shada is but when you are in purva shada you have to understand that at a theoretical level i have to understand which are the things which I am doing in my life, which is uh, stopping me from becoming my best version? Am I eating the wrong kind of food? Or am I eating too less or too much? <laughs> Very rarely I have heard people telling, you know, oh, actually, you know, I eat too less actually. You know, most of the times people complain that, you know, oh, sir, I'm eating too much. What should I do? Or I'm eating all the crap, you know, so whatever it is or are you wasting time watching uh, cricket uh, football news uh, or you know world geopolitics all these crappy things which uh, you have no control over <laughs> yes which country will have a war with which country uh, what's going on in bollywood in hollywood what's going on in you know uh, the tv what's going on in uh, which country is fighting with which country. So are you wasting your life debating, discussing and uh, watching all these topics, crappy things in the news? Okay. Or are you uh, wasting time watching these movies or Netflix or whatever it is you know, and then just ruining your valuable human life, doing nothing. So even if you are doing so many things and you are doing all this together, then you will see that your progress will slow down. Okay. So therefore, this is the best time when you can make a note of the things which your uh, it's, it's very simple you know your gut feeling will tell you that there are certain things which you should not do or which you should have not done or which you should not do in the future uh, just check your gut feeling because when jupiter goes direct the gut feeling becomes very strong ask yourself you know what are those things which i need to get rid of it's like that basket, you know, throw it. What is not required? It can mean anything. Uh, toxic people from your lives, you know, toxic relationships, toxic partners, toxic colleagues, <laughs> or anything it can be. Right? That will depend on your horoscope and your dashas. But long story cut short, do the things which are required to move ahead in life okay at the soul level and identify what do you want at a soul level not at a mental or at a bodily level then you shall see that i am really able to harness the results of this jupiter being direct all right that will be all from my side i wish you all the best uh, and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit Please go to my website below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him.